welcome to another episode of Scene Stealers. I'm your host, Ali Amstutz, and our guest today is William Chandler. Hi, everyone, and thank you for having me. Of course. It's always great to have people on here, get to know them. Honored to be here. I'm not just doing it for you. It's a lot of fun to be with you. Yeah. Do you prefer to go by William Chandler or Bill Chandler? Well, my real name is William Edward Chandler, but my friends call me Bill. After asking Bill the questions, we will go into a scene that is original. So please stay tuned for that. And here we go into the questions. Excited about it. <laughs> According to IMDb, you have 10 credits. How many roles have been speaking roles? Um, out of those, uh, one is in filming right now, which is The Righteous 12. Yeah. So that is a speaking role. Mm -hmm. And other ones are in production right now. How old were you when you wanted to start acting? Well, I was in um, choir in 1979. And um, we did skits like South Pacific and uh, type of like Happy Days type of skits, but also in choir, you had music and, you know, acting at the same time. How old were you when you got your first acting gig or job? Um, well, recently, like 2020, when Chuck Williams came to one of my uh, book signings yes. and he invited me to become a background actor in his movie, The Righteous Twelve. Uh, what role would you love to do if given the chance, whether it be um, stage acting or film? I think film I would enjoy more. And um, stage is, you know, you have to be on spot. I'm very sure about that. But I'm just more like a, I say a action actor, so to speak. I really enjoy that. If someone were to make a movie about your life, who would be cast to play as you? Well, my wife and others said I kind of closely resemblance uh, Sean Penn at times. So that would be who you'd want to play? I would think so. Yeah. With that, I kind of wonder, with asking that question, if people would want it to be more of a personality thing, of like they think... Um, this actor could play your personality well, or more of like the looks kind of aspect? It could be a little bit more the looks and maybe some of the personality. You're also a published author. How many books have you written? Um, I wrote five that are published. The first book is called Beyond Paradise. Uh, the second book is called uh, The Lord's Prayer Unveiled. Uh, the third book is called uh, Put on the Homer God. Uh, the fourth book is Spiritual Warfare, The Battle Continues. Mm -hmm. The fifth book is Spiritual Warfare as the Days of Noah. And I'm currently writing The Righteous Twelve book, mm -hmm. uh, an expansion of the movie. A lot of other stuff we're adding into it. Written by me and uh, Chuck Williams. Mm -hmm. And also been asked to do The Righteous Twelve prayer book. So I'm working on that and 80% finished with that. Good. What is the last thing you do before the director calls for um, everyone to get on set or says action and the camera starts rolling? You pay attention to the director, uh, everybody on the set, that I, that's what I do, and you do the best to remember your lines. <laughs> and if you don't, then you say lines or do a pause and just try to become the character that you are. And they'll see if you're struggling, and like I just told Allie earlier, editing is an actor's best friend. That is very true. <laughs> um, some of the things that go into this, we have lots of mistakes, which is all right, we're humans, it's fine, but the editing part of it is definitely very good and helpful. Yes. Have you done any stage acting, and did you ever do any solo work or have a lead in that? Well, not really a lead, but we all joined together, just like I did solos in choir. But when we did a lot of uh, stage acting in high school, we did like South Pacific, uh, the comedy Jim Jones. Uh, we've done others like um, 
you know, like happy days type of 50s and 60s type of musicals. So if you talk, if you're saying that's uh, stage acting, I would say yes. But anything professionally or recently, no. So on IMDb, it says you've done nine different westerns. So have you ever worked with animals or child actors? And what was that like? Any interesting stories? Well, um, in The Righteous Twelve, uh, Chuck Williams put me on a horse. And uh, that was a lot of fun. I haven't rode a horse since I was 13 or 15 at the Chandler Ranch in California on my father's side. And, but since then, I, I call myself a novice, you know, concerning horse, horseback riding. <laughs> so you have worked in several westerns, and have you ever been able to handle a prop gun for a scene? Uh, prop and also uh, real firearms, too, yes. In different films. I have heard that outside of doing recording and stuff, you've also done live reenactments in Tombstone of the history there. You want to tell us something about that? Yes, it's very... Thank you. Um, I was invited by uh, Lorelai Page uh, to become a vigilante in Tombstone, Arizona, where we do live skits on the streets on the second Sunday and the Indian Sunday of each month. Also... Uh, Hell Dorado days and Wyatt Earp days and whatever they want me to do. But it's live um, blanks, of course. But we have, it's a mixture of comedy and also a little bit of drama, the Old West. That is very interesting. What classes or training have you taken for acting or to get started with acting or anything like that? The Chuck Williams master acting class that's my third uh session with him or the third class yeah it'll be my second no third i don't know <laughs> that's awesome yeah <laughs> have you ever wanted to make your own film whether it be on one of your books or something you've written or um, someone else wrote? not really i'm really a writer and uh i minister the gospel and, and teach the scriptures but if someone works with me, maybe I will, but I don't see that right now. What has been your favorite role so far in uh, all of the stuff you've done? The Righteous Twelve, and Joseph Fiend's been shot. Another film that I'll be in also. Is that coming out soon? That's coming out pretty soon by the U of A um, producing department. Very nice. Also, uh, County Bullets with uh, Travis Mills and John Mars. The Bank Robbery with John Mars. Also, um, Pleasant Valley War, Travis Mills, that we did in Young, Arizona. And just uh, many of his films. I'm about six of his films. Some is large parts and some are smaller parts, but uh, no dialogue. But it's a lot of fun. It sounds like it. Have any of the films you've been a part of won a award or been um, put into a film festival? Yes, Travis uh, Mills movies have, and also John Mars. And I'm sure you can look for that online and see all the details on that, like Western film festivals. What actors do you look up to? Robert Duvall, Clint Eastwood, and Kevin Costner. Um, is there any specific films they've been in that you really like? Really the westerns, I, I really love them in. I mean, you have um, Robert Duvall and The Godfather, which is an amazing movie, but it's just the westerns he, he's in. It just shows, like, the human nature of the old west and just uh, the realness of it. Have you ever had any issues with the character you were given that you couldn't as easily get into character as you could with a different one? Well, not really issues, but as a Christian, you know, we're supposed to be good, right? So sometimes I get bad guy roles, and um, you just have to be what you are in that, uh, in that film. And just have fun with it, because that's not really you. So thank you for participating. Um, thank you for coming out. And um, we'll get into the scene now.
Well, thank you very much for having me. Of course. Okay, your homework for this weekend is to write a six-page essay on one of William Shakespeare's plays. Not one page, not two, not three. Um, what? We have Monday off. It's a three-day weekend and you're assigning an essay? A six-page essay? Well, you have three days to complete it. Me and my family are going camping and kayaking. We're not going to have electricity for my laptop. Well, that's why paper and pencils have been invented. If it's on Shakespeare, shouldn't I use ink and quill? Write till thy ink be dry. And let thy tears moist it again. And frame some feeling line that may discover such integrity. You really need to get out more. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a ton of fun and I'm really glad that William Chandler came out. And... I hope you guys have a good day and night. Please like this video and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And when you subscribe, this little bell pops up. And when you hit it and turn on notifications, it'll it notify you of when another one of these videos comes out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!